Hello Marvel Sports fans and welcome back to Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah and I'm glad to be here for this tournament. This tournament is based on the classic arcade game King of the Hammer. The goal is to get the white marble as high up on the wall as possible without getting in the dead zone. As we take a look at today's track, you'll see that the marbles have a little ways to go before they get to the end of the course. Just to be able to calibrate and uh, calculate how they're going to be able to hit the marble at the right speed in order to get in that perfect 100 score. We'll have to see how they do in this tournament. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified of the next Rebecca's Marble Runs video. It helps out the channel a lot. We'll be having eight different countries competing on one on one, one at a time, and whichever marble gets the highest score will advance to the next round. And now let's take a look at the teams competing in today's tournament. First off, on the left bottom bracket, we have India versus Indonesia, two of the fan favorites. That'll definitely be a heated battle. And we have Japan and Brazil up in the top left corner, and then Vietnam and Mexico in the top right corner. And finally, we have France and US, who will be facing off in the final round of the first uh, rounds in this tournament. And now for Japan versus Brazil, and it is Japan who will be going off first. And they're off. One of the features of this track is that there is a Y right under this funnel. And it'll have multiple ways to get to this uh, wall at the end of the course. And they take the stairway, which is a little bit slower. But they are able to get very high up on the wall. We'll have to see if they get 100 or if that was a elimination. And it was 100. So they will be getting 100 points. We'll have to see if Brazil can come back and do better than that going to be hard to beat and it's also a risky move considering that that's so close to the dead zone Let's see how Brazil does right now so we've seen one marble go down the left side of this Y which is the stairs will Brazil go in the other side and they do and this is a more direct route going on this more speedy spiral type but they lose a lot of speed they uh, do not get very high up on the wall. We'll have to see what the score is on the replay. They only get a 50, only half as much as Japan. So they will be eliminated, and Japan will move on to the semifinals. That's definitely interesting. I would have thought that the uh, speedy spiral would have uh, had more speed for the marbles to get higher up, and even possibly get up into the dead zone. We'll have to see how the other marbles do in that section of the course. Now it's time for France versus the U.S. France will be going off first. Really right here is the most pivotal point in the uh, course for these marbles having to decide which side of the Y they want to go down. And they go down the stairs. And they get pretty high up on the uh, wall as well. Will it be 100 or will it be a dead zone? We'll have to see in the replay. That is definitely the quicker way. I wouldn't have expected that uh, from looking at this course. And they got way too high up. They are in the dead zone. They will be eliminated. The USA will be advancing unless they get a dead zone too. And we'll have to see what will happen then. Now it's time for the US. So does US want to go Take the riskier route, do the faster one, and have a higher chance of getting 100 points, or do the slower one. They do do the faster one, but they are able to control their speed. Looks like they get maybe a 90 or 80, which is better than an elimination from France. So they get a 90. They will definitely advance over France, who uh, got in the dead zone. Pretty much a easy, instant advancement for the U.S., The U.S. will advance to the semifinals. They will go against one of the marbles up in the top right bracket. And now it is time for the next round, which is Vietnam versus Mexico. The winner of this duel will be going against the U.S. in one of the semifinals. 
and Mexico will be going off first. And will Mexico take the fast route or the slow route? Fast route is possible to get more points, but it's also riskier because there is the dead zone. They go fast. And it looks like they have 100 points. We'll have to check the replay and make sure. Good uh, showing by Mexico. And yes, they do get the 100 right in the middle of the 100 segment. Very close to the dead zone yet again. But they are uh, doing well. We'll have to see how Vietnam will be able to come back after this. And they're off. Vietnam really only has one choice, and that is to take the fast route if they want to be able to beat Mexico. And they take the slow route going through the spiral. Let's see how they do. And they barely get anything. Looks like a 60 there. And they will be eliminated. Mexico will be advancing to the next round. The spiral route is definitely not the route you want to go to. You lose a lot of speed in that jump right before the wall. So you can see they only got a 60, barely even. They uh, almost got a 50 there, right on the line. So Mexico will be advancing and going against the U.S. in one of the semifinals. Now it is time for the final duel of this first group, which is India versus Indonesia. And India will be going off first. Seems like a lot of these marbles going first are not having a problem with their nerves. They're doing well with the pressure. Maybe that's why there are a lot of them are picking the faster route because it's a way to get rid of the pressure as quickly as possible. India does get 100 there. So we take a look at the replay. All these hundreds so close to the dead zone. They almost got 90. They were able to get past that line and that's all that counts for the uh, points. And now it's time for Indonesia. Hope to see if they are able to come up and overtake India. Seems like a lot of times the second marble is having a harder time coming back after the first marble has gone. We'll have to see if Indonesia can break that uh, streak so far. They go down the facts. And it looks like they hit a little bit too hard. They may have gotten in the dead zone here. Let's check the replay. And yes, they did get the dead zone, so they will be eliminated, and India will be advancing to the next round. That's, uh, that's the risk part of the faster lane. You do have that risk of getting in the dead zone if you aren't able to control your speed. So India will be going up against Japan in the semifinals. And now it is time for the first semifinal, Mexico versus the U.S. Mexico will be starting us off. Two neighboring countries. They definitely know each other well. We'll have to see how they are able to cope with the pressure of this round. Which side will it be? And it is the slower side down the spiral. Mexico taking it safe. See how they do. They only get a 50 or 60. But at least they didn't get a dead zone. We'll have to see how the U.S. will react to this score. So they only get a 50 right on the line. They weren't quite able to get that 60. We'll have to see how uh, the U.S. will be able to come back in this tournament. Let's see. Will the U.S. take the riskier route or will they take the more safe route? which has the possibility of being eliminated. Both of them are uh, equally risky at this point. They take the slow route. And they have a terrible performance, getting only a 30 or 40. We'll have to check the replay on that. Definitely disappointing for the USA fans. Us losing most of their momentum right on that jump before the wall. They only get a 40. And Mexico will advance to the next round. Definitely disappointing for the U.S. They will be going to the third place match, but uh, Mexico will be going up against the victor of this next duel, which is Japan versus India. And Japan will be starting us off yet again. J 
Japan has been watching these other tournaments and they've been taking notes. We'll see which side they're able to go down and it is the slow side taking it safe once again. And they have a pretty decent performance for that side of the track. They get like a 60. See on the replay, they will be able to uh, keep their speed after that jump. We'll have to see if India takes the faster route or the slower route here in a couple moments. So India is the last marble in the semifinals. This is the make or break to get into the final round of this tournament. Which side will they take, risky or safe? And they go the faster route. And they have too much speed there. White ball goes up to the sky. I think they have been eliminated. We'll have to check the replay on that. Definitely. Oh, they didn't. They did get 100. They didn't quite get up to the elimination zone. That is definitely way too close for comfort. India will be advancing to this final and Japan will be going to the third place match. Definitely a risky move for India, but it did pay off right on the line on the 100. Now it's time for the third place match, Japan versus the US. And the US will be going first. This is for the third place, which is uh, the final podium spot. We'll have to see if the US is able to make it there or if it's Japan. U.S. having some trouble with risk management in the last round. Let's see what they do after this. They take the faster route. And they were able to control their speed. They get a decent 90, possibly 100. We'll have to check here. And they do get a 100. So uh, they will be uh, putting some pressure on Japan for the third place. And now for Japan. Japan having a decent showing in this tournament. Winning the first round and then not winning the second round. We'll have to see if they win the third place match having a 2 out of 3 win-loss ratio. They take the fast route. And they get a 90 very close to the U.S. We'll have to check the replay to make sure. But it's looking like the U.S. will be taking third place in this tournament. Yes, they will. In, uh, Japan only gets a 90 which means U.S. has 10 more points. Therefore, gets to be the only marble sitting on the podium who was not in the final round, which is India and Mexico. Now it's time for the final round. Mexico going first. The decisions in this funnel are very intense as we go around the funnel once more. Which route will be the slower route? Mexico is going to take it safe. They only get a 50. Definitely a beatable score for India. Only if they take the riskier route, risking the elimination of the dead zone. We'll have to see how India can react to this, but Mexico has a 50. We'll have to see how this plays out. Now for the final running of this tournament, it is India. Will they take the fast route or the slow route? At this point, I would take the fast route and take the risk. This is for the championship. And they take the fast route. Let's see what happens. They are very close. 100 or dead zone. It's win or lose. We'll have to check the replay and that will decide the championship. Here they come. They hit the white ball. And they are eliminated. Mexico will be the champion of this tournament. India not controlling their speed. They were eliminated, got too high up on the wall. Definitely a disappointment for India. But Mexico is cheering because they will be crowned the king of the hammer. Congratulations to Mexico for getting first place in the king of the hammer tournament. India comes in at second and the US will be in third place. Some amazing arcade game playing in today's video. Mexico coming out on top. And for all you Mexico fans out there, Viva la Mexico! If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. Also, stay tuned for the next Fubeka's Marble Runs tournament. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. And until next time, this has been 
Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.